Okay, picking right up where I left off at. We are continuing the moss stitch, our second row. All right, and let's see, where were we at? Two, three, the splash. And we had two, two, one. I'm on the one stitch right now. And then two of the light. And one, two, three, four of the darker turquoise there. All right, so it is one, loosen her up just to make sure that it is one, and go into the lighter ones. I need two of those. One and two. I believe I have a muddy leg. I do. I have a split leg. I'm going to check my original row. Where I have the one. And it's not a split leg. But I've got a split leg on this one. So I'm going to try and fix it. I'm going to pull back a little bit. I do have a piece of tape there because that's where I have it marked. Because that's where the video split. I've got a reason for that marker there. I'll put it back on in a second. Alright, so I'm going to loosen this up. One. Two. One. There we go. And then two of these. That one is a little bit split there because I had to loosen it up. But you know what? I'm going to go with it. Put my little marker back. I've got a reason for that marker. That's where I changed the video. And in case I'm interrupted, I uh, will have to start over and go back. One, two, three. I believe I had four of these. And I'm going to double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had four because there's four of those. It gets more and more difficult doing this, doing the mirror image way, because you have to go back and retrace your steps and find out exactly where you're at. So it does make it harder. All right, so there's the one royal blue. One two, three, four, and then two of these dusky, and one, okay, I got two dusky, and two royal, and a dusky, huh, that's new. dark, this dark dust gear. But, let me see what this one looks like. Or we should keep better tabs on it instead of just throwing it to the side. I have a tendency to just throw it. Okay, there's the blue. White, dusky, dark, dusky. And then one, two, three, four, teal. And that's got too much of the blue into it before it goes into the teal. So I'm going to loosen these up. I'll loosen that up too. Why not? I keep wanting to skip that. All right. One, two. And then two of these. And this dark blue, duskyish 
still not enough. Maybe I should have made that first row of this section with an extra stitch, but it may not have let me either. I'm gonna loosen them back up to here. If need be, you can add a half double crochet to eat up some of the yarn. I don't like doing that so much, but sometimes it's necessary. I typically just loosen my stitches up. Sometimes though, they gotta get crazy loose. And uh, there have been times where I've had to do half double crochets. Whenever I've done it, I've, one, two, three, four. All right, well, I know it's four. Um, that's a muddy leg though, but I'm gonna have to go with it. One, two, three, four. What's I saying? If I have to do half double crochet, I will take it back and do several of them in a row. Sorry if I get too ooh, close to the camera there. Alright, and then how many of the teal do we have going into? Better, okay. Alright, where am I at again? The single. Okay, one, two, three, four of the teal. I'm gonna put these scissors on here as a marker. Alright, I've got scissors laying on it. So I know where I'm at. That's that's a good idea. So I don't have to keep hunting. Two, three, and four. And as you see, like it's it did change colors there, but I counted them all as four. Instead of two and two, I just counted it as four. Yep. Okay, and then it is see there's the four, two and two. Two, one, two, one. Okay, two, one, two, one. Two. One. That works. I'll loosen them up a bit here. It's a little split. I'm just going to fix it right now. Alright, two, one, two, one. Okay, good. Got my scissors holding my place. Perfect. So that was two, one, two, one. Two of the dark dusky goes into two, sorta. See? That was a little bit wonky muddy there. One there. Alright, look again. Two, one, two, one, two, two. One, two, okay, so I'm going into two, and two, and one, and two, 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 one, two. Two, two, one, two. Kind of a funky color there, too. Yeah. One. Is that right? Kind of muddy. Let me see here. Okay, that four. Two, two, one, two, two. Two, 
two, two, one, two, ten. Oh, that's what I'm doing here. And then it goes into the royal blue, which is two. to pick up where I am here because I want to make sure that this is looking right. Okay, find the two light splashes that's in between some dusky. Nope. That's too far back then. One, two, three, four of the turquoise. Okay. All right, the two and two are the turquoise. All right. Because I seem to have gotten a little bit lost, so I want to make sure here. All right, so I've got the two turquoise. And then those two blue, and then this one here, and then one, two, one, two, one and one, two, one, one, two, one, two. Yeah, that'll work. And then two of these and two of these. Okay. And then this is why, okay, and now we're fixing to cross over, which definitely makes it difficult to really see what you're doing in the crossover. And I'm pulling it all the way through. Hang on. Bear with me here. All right, so here we are at the middle, fixing to cross over. So there was the two lights, which is, here's the two light ones here, and here's the two light ones right here. So it's going to be one royal and one, two, three, three turquoise, and then two of a different shade of turquoise. Okay. All right, let me straighten out my yarn. Straighten out my tails here. Because now we're going in the other direction. Because we're starting to cross over, we're going to really have to focus and pay attention to our... Um, to our color sequence on what we did on our first go round. All right, so here we are and we're about to cross over. So here's the two and here's these two. Now I'm gonna do one, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I've got one, One, two, three, four, and five. Yay, into the next color. And so um, here was this two light, dark blue, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got two dark blue, two turquoise, two light turquoise, two pretty blue turquoise. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got these two dusky, two, 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 and two. All right, and scissors to mark where I am so I don't get lost. Looks like that was only one dusky. But I've got two duskies. One, two, 
Well, that's frustrating. I'm gonna tighten it up. Probably gonna have some muddy mud muds going through this one. One, two, pretty tight. Not bad, not bad, I can handle that. All right, it was two, 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 and two. So I got two of that turquoise. I've got two of this lighter turquoise. And then I've got two of this turquoise. All right, now going into royal blue. So check my marker. Two royals, two dusky, and then that's a different kind of color there, but probably just gonna count it just in this section. So I got two, two, one, two, one, two three-ish kind of goes into some other colors here this is where you don't want muddy legs because it's like ah uh, what am I counting it as not real sure okay two 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 and pause This is a different color. Two and pause. Yes, and that was okay because it was a different color. And now it's going to go into these royal blues, kind of a color change here, into these two or three. Okay, let's count. We're gonna do three royal blues or even like a color change there. So one, two, three, and then going into the light turquoise, and then two darker turquoise. One, two, three. One, two. Yep, and it is a color change. Perfect. I love it when it comes together. And then we had three of these lighter ones and two of the darker ones. One, two, three that did actually color change there and two. Perfect. I love it when it comes together like that. That's perfect. That's exactly what the other one looked like. Okay. So pull it over here so you can see. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and it's the same colors. Perfect. A blue, one, two, three. And then we have a blue, yep. And one, two, three. Two, and three. Tighten her up there, make sure she fits. And then we've got these two. Turquoise, a split leggy turquoise, two turquoise. Two and two and two. Two, two and two. I said two, two, and two. One and two. Perfect. This is awesome. Teal, two, teal.
Looks like that's gonna work. Teal, two, Teal, two, teal, or turquoise, or whichever shade it is. It's beautiful, whatever it is. Two, dusky. Three, royal. Two, dusky. But, going into these changes here, it's kind of muddy a little bit going into that royal. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do like having two on each side, though. So, two three and two we're gonna try that two three and two see if that works out one two and it does get a little muddy going into that one one two three And one and two. Perfect, beautiful. Now let's see where we're at. We are almost to our tail. That is so great. Okay. Three, one, and a splash, and two, and three. Three, one, splash, two, three. And a splash. What did I say? Two, three, one, two. Yeah, because we're into a different color. And then one of these. And two. And three. We are at our end. Yay! Okay, now going into this one. Two, one, two. Perfect. Okay, so this is the long tail chain side on this side. This side, you're going to have either a modified stitch or um, one of your stitches is going to count as part of the chain. And it's your legs not gonna land it's gonna be eight up in the stitch but on this side all your legs have to land so I gotta remember now how many stitches I'm supposed to have here because this turn is important let's see because this is where I begin my third row and in your third row is where you're gonna see your pattern okay so I'm gonna chain two all right that was a chain two now I'm gonna see where I'm at here okay Look at that. So this color needs to be up and over one. And I need to have two of them. One and two. One and two. Looky there. And then I've got one, two of the next color. One and two. So see, I wasn't real sure how many stitches I was supposed to have there because, hey, I don't know. Um, so what's important here is making sure that your next color lands where it's supposed to land at. So whenever you don't know, because there's a lot of times where we're not gonna know, we don't know now how many stitches we're supposed to have in each one, except for looking at the row below it. So now I've got these two here, I have these two here, and then I have royal blue. One, two, three. So I need to have three royal blues. One, two, and 
I'm already going into turquoise, so that's not right. So I'm gonna have to go and tighten it up a little bit, and I'm gonna pull back a little and tighten up from here. I'm gonna tighten up on these blue stitches. So I got one and two, and that's great because it's going into the royal, and I need three royal blues. One, two, and three. Perfect. And then I need one, two, three of this turquoise teal. One, two, three. And I've had those pulled tight because I was used to doing tight. And I had them pulled too tight. Two, three. Because now I've got enough to make four. And I don't want four. So I need to go and loosen it up. But I'm just going to loosen up the teal because I don't want to loosen up the, the royals too to make the teal work because if I loosen up those royals, they're going to be muddy. They're not going to work because I had to tighten those up just to get them to work. And then I had to loosen these up. So you got tight stitches and then you got loose stitches. But whenever it's all completed, you really don't tell that because they're looking at the beauty of the pattern. So the... Um, your tension control is really not going to show. All right, so now where am I? Okay, so up and over one, up and over one. What am I looking at? I was supposed, oh, see, I got confused. I did, I was supposed to have four there because I was looking at this bottom row. I needed to look at the bottom row. One, two, three, four. So I just about messed it up. And it's the crossover where the colors are blending in as you go. So it's that easy to mess up. So those of you that caught that my first time through, good job. One, two. Probably thinking she's looking at the wrong row. And yes, I was. Three. And I definitely had enough to do four stitches with. Okay, so whenever that happens, look to the outer edges. All right, so I'm looking at this bottom row here. It's so difficult whenever you've got colors that are crossing over like that. So now I need to make sure here, I'm looking at the bottom row, up and over one, and then I've got these two stitches here, these two duskies, and then two, three royals. So I've got five, I've got two dusky, and three royals. All right, and it is up and over one. All right, two dusky. I'm just making up these color names if you haven't figured that out yet, but I'm pretty sure that's royal blue. One, two, and three on the royal. I'm gonna squeeze it, because it's going into the teal. I'm gonna squeeze them a little tighter. So that's another thing I think that makes McCall a bit difficult is because the colors just totally fold over each other. So you really gotta pay attention to the correct row because these colors are gonna cross over quite a bit. And that's what's gonna make it so beautiful in the end also. All right, so I tightened them up and I can feel that this is a looser stitch here. But that's okay. All right, now looking at the bottom row, I've got one and a splash and it's perfect. I need the one right here and I need the splash to go right here. So I've got one, where's my splash? Splash is going eating up into the one. All right, let's tighten it up a little bit because I really like that splash. One and a splash. Good. And then it's one, two, and one and two. One, and two, and one. 
and two. Okay, two of the dusky and two of the light splashes. One, two. Hmm. I got too much dusky going into that splash, so I'm going to loosen. This is actually going to be a gift for my best friend since we were seven years old. Her favorite color is blue. Her birthday is coming up in like less than two weeks. So I'm gonna have to really crank it out, but I'm currently still working on another one right now. So my little fingers are really going to be busy getting this stuff done. As you can see, I'm, I'm kind of loosening up a little bit more here. Hmm. I may go ahead and do some half doubles. Whenever I first do half doubles, I don't put a, I don't crochet one in between. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to see if the, but that really doesn't work because I really need to, for it to be the splash. So no, I'm just going to loosen. You can do um, a single crochet in between it. For me, it just makes it just as loose as making them loose. So if I can get away with doing like four or five half doubles in a row, I won't put a stitch in there in between them. And then whenever you go back over the top of them, you can't even tell. And a lot of times it will eat up enough of the yarn if you can do five of them in a row. Five of them in a row will generally eat up enough yarn. Okay, now it's one royal blue. And then another splash. Two splash. It's a two splash. One. And two. And then one, two, three, four of the turquoise. And see what I mean by, I mean the colors just, they just constantly they're running into each other. So you really gotta focus. One, two, and three and four. It's one, two, and three, and four, two, and two, and dark dusky. Two and it goes into a dark dusky. One, two, and a light two. That one's kind of fading into it, but it's going to be what it is. One, two, yep, and then the lighter two. Perfect. One, two, one, one, two, two, one. And this does kind of bleed into the next one a little bit because I could actually get two stitches out of this one. I mean, there's just no way that I can eat up that much yarn without doing some really fancy stitch work. I'm going to see here what this does. One, light, two dusky. Let's see. Let's see how it turns out. Let's see if I have to do some modifi modifying there. One, light, two dusky, two dark duskies. One, Two, two, one, two. So then it goes into 
the teal color, but I've still got too much yarn here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull back. So here I have the two and I only needed the one. So I'm not really gonna be able to count it as that one there. Okay, so two and two. I'm gonna loosen that one up though. See if I can loosen and make them go better that way. Yeah, and that one kind of splits into that one there. I could also switch to a J hook. Only I don't have a J hook with me. Okay, that one needed to be the light. And the light is still on my hook. No, 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 no. Two, one, two. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. So the light does go into this one, so that's perfect. See, I have to pause and really stop and think and analyze what I'm doing. Alright, these two darker ones. And it goes into teal. Two. Great. It goes into one, two, and then a off color single blue. Well. Hmm. I'm gonna have to tighten that. Alright, so these two and these two are correct. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one though. It looks like this one's here pretty tight. So I'm gonna tighten it. And then the blue. Very good. Now it goes into the two light splash. One. Tighten her up. Two. One royal blue. See that royal blue needs to be right here. So you can't just crochet along like blindly and you know hope for the best and think that they're gonna land okay because they're not you have to make it work you have to be conscious conscientious of what you're doing blue and blue two teal turquoise whatever one and two actually i think it's three one, two, three, four, five. And then they kind of trend into a darker one. Four for those two. Perfect. And now, oh, I'm all tangly, sorry. It goes quicker. Once you get past your first two moss stitch rows, and then you can start doing this row, this third row, it does go by faster. So I'm right here, here are lined up correctly. Two of the duskies need to be here and here. Here. Oh man, I only have one and I need two. Tighten her up. I had to really pinch that teal one there. One. Tighten her up here to get two, and I did. Yay! All right, two turquoise, one, two, two splashes, one, two, two turquoise, one, two. One, two, two royal blue. One, two. I just love it when it goes smoothly like this. It makes it so worthwhile. Two of the dark dusky. One, two, a lighter blue. 
a teal, and two royals. A lighter blue, a teal, and two royals. Thank you, Jesus. That's awesome. Two. And then a lighter blue, which goes right here. And two, maybe three, 